Hello, this is Quimbo from Blood Legacy, a guild from the Warsong US server. This video explains the Razor Scale fight. This fight will go in two different stages. The first one you're watching now is the air phase, when Razor Scale is flying above us, casting fireballs that can hit for something between 11 and 12,000 fire damage, and devouring flames that will deal about 9,000 damage on landing and leave the, those blue flames on the ground, also dealing 9,000 damage per second as long as you stay on them. Have your read separated in three different groups, the melee in the center and the casters on the sides. Adds will spawn every once in a while and must be dealt with. The melees will face the dark rune sentinel, the big blue guy that may whirlwind for up to 40,000 damage on cloth probably one-shotting any non-tank, so DPS him down really quick. If you see that he is taking too long to die, uh, ask the melees to move out and the casters will finish him off. The casters groups on the sides will face the Dark Rune Watchers and Guardians. The Watchers are the small casters that cast a chain lightning that can be interrupted to avoid the damage going to the raid. The Watchers should die be for the guardians, for the guardians are not that strong. Keep your read moving when you're idle so that you have an easy time leaving the devouring flames if it's cast on you. Remember, the devouring flames is the big blue fire that stands on the ground, so move away from it. After a while, the expedition dwarves will finish fixing the turrets. These turrets will be used to throw harpoons at razor scale forcing her to the ground. Once four harpoons are launched in the heroic version, or two in the regular version, she will be brought down. Make sure that you have killed the Dark Rune Guardians, uh, if there is any, which is the big blue guy in the center, and any Dark Rune Watchers, the casters of the Chain Lightning, before shooting the last harpoon. The Dark Rune Guardians, just like we did, are just ignored. When the fourth harpoon is launched, everyone must target the boss and begin DPS as fast as possible, for it's the only time you get to do it. It's a good time to pop any available cooldowns. Bloodlust or heroism may be saved for the second phase if you have enough DPS. The second phase will be explained soon. Remember that the devouring flames may still be on the ground, so you must avoid them while DPSing the boss during this stage. Also, make sure that no one stays in front of the boss during the stage. After a while she gets really angry and will cast a flame breath to release herself. And this flame breath will deal about 20,000 damage to everyone in a cold in front of her, releasing herself from the chains. If there is any of those iron dwarves still alive, the ones that I am tanking right now, they will take this damage too, but that's just for the achievement. Once she flies, the battle goes back to killing adds until you manage to bring her down again. You should focus on bringing the boss to 50% the second time you force her to the ground. If you do not accomplish this, it's easier to wipe and restart it, because the enraged timer will probably kill you. So, during this air phase which you're still facing, you're killing adds, being the sentinels, the big blue guys in the center, your highest priority, then the watchers, the little guys that cast chain lightning, and lastly, the guardians, the melee ones. Remember to keep your raid moving to avoid the fire damage. You may get between one and two of those caster guys in every pack. Sometimes just two mobs may sp will spawn and you just have to face two at a time. We have three harpoons launched and the fourth will be sent soon. See we have many 
devouring flames on the ground. So remember, you must avoid them before uh, when DPSing the boss. Now that she's down, we're all focusing the damage on her. After reaching 50% health, the boss will be forced to the ground permanently. Just finish off any surviving adds and DPS the boss down. If you manage to accomplish this, then this fight is probably over. See, now that she releases herself from the chains and is forced to the ground permanently, she tosses everyone in the air. She keeps casting fireballs and flame breath, so make sure you keep your raid healed. The flame breath should only be taken by the bo by the tanking at the beginning of the video I said that you may want to save your bloodlust or heroism for this stage because now she is stacking a debuff that increases the fire damage taken by everyone in the raid possibly this will one shot your tank Keep your red, your red spread to avoid the devouring flames. And you got it. I thank you for watching the fight and watch and take a look at my user page for more videos as I will post them as soon as they are available. Congratulations and thanks for watching.